Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another video. And today I am happy to announce that we are going to be doing the unboxing video for Tekken 8, the premium collector's edition, which I can't wait to open up and actually play the game. I've been in both of the betas, I've played the demo, I can't wait to play the final game and the story mode and playing online and everything. Like this is my fighting game that I grew up with. This was one of my first PS1 games. It was Tekken 3, that and Tomb Raider. I can't wait. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into this. Alright, so I'm pretty pumped to actually play this game if you can't really realize. Um, I'm going to be um, streaming this on Twitch as well, so keep an eye out for that. And I might upload some gameplay as well. I got my Tekken 8 shirt as well, if you don't know if you can see that. Like, I'm, I'm fully pumped for this game. So let's get into this now, okay? So let me just grab my scissors. Alright guys, it's, it has this um, brand new collector's smell. It smells so good, I, I actually love this smell. Um, but we do have the glossy front, which shows Jin and Kazuya. Such a good um, front cover, honestly, one of the best ones. And just on the side here, you get to see the content that is inside of it. So I'll just quickly read it out for you. So we do have the premium box, which we have already. We have the electrified exclusive Jin figure, which is 25 centimeters. We've got a special face-off still book. It comes with the full game, but the ultimate edition. So it comes with like a bunch of DLC and such. We have the burning chain metal plate. We've got the corporation stickers, Leroy Smith's metal ring with velvet pouch, which sounds juicy. We've got eight glossy collectible cards and we also have the RK token as well. And don't forget, it's not just that, but you get a bunch of different DLCs as well. So we have the character costumes, gold suit pack, which uh, matches all 32 um, costumes. We have playable character year one pass. We've got an avatar skin of Kinjin. Um, we have four additional play uh, playable characters, which is obviously in the um, fighter pass. And then we also have even more avatar costumes as well. So looking forward to getting to that. And then on the back, we have just a little description of what the game is like or what it is. So you can go through that yourself. But uh, yeah, man, let's, let's get straight into this now, man. All right, so if we just slide this open all right whoops <laughs> but yeah this is the box that you have it looks really really cool um it's just the front cover again on the side you have casio as well and then on the other side you have Jin. and then on the back you see t8 all right so when we actually crack this box open, the first thing that we're going to see is the Tekken 8 Ultimate Edition, which is just right here. It looks absolutely amazing with the yellow background, which looks really, really nice. And actually, this is a slipcover as well. So, you know, you can actually, you know, keep the game protected, which is quite nice. Yeah, let's just crack this open. Okay, so yeah, front looks dope, like I was showing before. 90 gigs minimum. That's actually pretty interesting. That's quite a lot in this game, actually. All right, so if we slide this out. All right, so we're going to see the back of the game, first of all. Um, and then we have the front cover as well, which is the uh, Ultimate Edition. We're going to have a couple of stickers. I don't know if you can see them. Pretty good. And then we also have the metal plate as well. That's pretty cool. I never know what you do with these, if I'm being honest with you. Like, it's cool to have, but it's like, what do you do with it? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have the metal plate. Crack open the game as well. Yep, we have codes inside. So obviously I'm not gonna show you them, unfortunately, sorry. But yeah, we have a couple of codes for the DLCs. And that's about it, really. Yeah, just a game, nothing too special. We do also have the still book as well, which looks absolutely amazing. Looks really, really crisp. Um, at the front, we're gonna have Kazia. Okay. That looks really, really cool. And then on the back, we're gonna see Jin. This is a very um, family related game <laughs> where you have Kazia and, uh, and Jin focused stuff. So that's actually really cool. And then on the back, in the, in the, in the middle, in the, inside, sorry, <laughs> you're gonna see the, um, the front cover as well. So that's actually really nice. Then next, you're just gonna have this little layer right here. 
And we are going to see the trading cards, which, um, these actually look pretty cool, actually. They're meant to be shiny, which they are a little bit shiny. I'm not going to lie to you. They're not really that shiny, but a little glossy. Um, so the first one we're going to see is Jin Kazuma, and he is from Japan. Here we go. I really want to go to Japan. Meet Jin. <laughs> Next, we're going to have uh, Kazuya Mishima, and he has no origin, no nationality. He's a demon, man. Pretty cool. Third of all, we're going to have Ling Xiaoyu, and she's from China. Here we go. My love of my life, my wife, she is everything to me. We have Nina Williams. <laughs> all right, and she's from Ireland. Next, we also have Jun Kazuma. Here we go. Looks really, really nice. And she is from... Japan as well. Next we have Lars Alexanderson. There we go. And he is from Sweden. That looks really cool. And then last but not least, actually we have two more left actually. We have um, Asuka Kazuma. There we go. And she is from Japan as well. And then last but not least, <laughs> we have Claudio Serafino. There we go. And he is from Italy. So those are all the trading cards. Um, I think they actually look really, really nice. All right, so next we are going to be checking out the statue. Okay, so I can see that there's a variety of different things inside of here. So we have the coin, we have the ring, and then we also have the statue. So I'm gonna pop this open and then we're gonna check out the coin first. All right, on the back, it says arcade and you have the fist of Iron Fist Tournament. Which looks really, really cool. And then we on, on the front, we have Tekken 8, where you see Jin and Kazuya facing off. So that's actually really, really nice. Yeah, that looks dope. Second, we are going to see the Leroy ring, which comes in a velvet bag, which I don't know if this is going to fit me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what the velvet bag looks like. It looks really nice. Um, yeah, let's check out this ring and see, uh, see if this actually fits me. <laughs> All right, so this looks kind of fire still. So that's the ring. I don't know if you can see that. It looks pretty cool. All right, very, very shiny. Can this fit me? Eh, it fits me somewhat. It fits me somewhat. <laughs> that's what it looks like. That looks really, really cool. <laughs> Heck yeah. Damn, I might leave this on. <laughs> nah, let me put it back. All right, and then we have the meat and the bones and the gravy and the dessert of the collector's edition. This is the Jin Kazuma electrified statue. Now, first of all, because this is the um, premium collector's edition, this one actually does light up and they did give us a USB-C to USB um, cable, which is uh, pretty useful. At least it's not battery oper operated, but maybe it is, I don't know, I'm just judging. You do have the wing separately, okay? Pretty lightweight, there's not really much to it, but I suppose it's because this part lights up. And then we also have Jin himself, which looks absolutely amazing. The detail is really, really good. We'll have a little close up on that in a sec. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, this looks good. I don't know if you can see it up close. Yeah, man, that looks good. Heck yeah, man. Oh man. Has some good weight to it, which is quite nice. The base is a little bit light, but not too light, like my previous um, statues, like the Last of Us ones. But this feels pretty solid. That's what the complete thing looks like. So pretty good. It's a good size, I would say, nothing too big. But yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the Jin Kazama electrified statue. Nice.
But guys, I'm not going to take up your time anymore. Um, that has been the unboxing video for Tekken 8, the Ultimate Collector's Edition or the Premium Collector's Edition. I can't wait to jump into this game and you know compete with you guys if you want to compete. Let me know and I will um, link you in my PSN. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. I am um, reaching nearly 600 subscribers. So if I can get this done as soon as possible, I really, really appreciate that. And don't forget to follow my Twitch as well because I'm going to be streaming some Tekken as well, fighting online with you guys and playing some uh, local games as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. But take it easy, stay safe and... Peace.